Well, just a few days after a Powerball ticket in Newburgh won $50,000 during the weekend drawing, Hoosier Lottery officials announced today another ticket sold in Newburgh has won $1 million. Now, that million-dollar ticket was purchased at the Tobacco Road store on Stacer Road. But once again, there was no big jackpot winner, and the Powerball rolled over this time bringing the prize to $1.73 billion. That is the second largest prize in Powerball history. But doesn't it seem like these near record jackpots are happening almost every other month? Well, maybe because it is. Talk, talk, joining us now to talk more about this is Sarah Taylor, the executive director for the Hoosier Lottery. Sarah, thanks so much for joining us. First up, two tickets sold in Newburgh, one fifty thousand, the other one million. Now that may not be the big prize, but it's big enough. What are the odds of this happening in the same town? Well, I don't know the odds of that. I do know the odds of winning Powerball. So it is exciting, and we're looking forward to the winners claiming their prize. Yes, so they have not come forward yet, correct? The one million, they have not. Okay, well, well, we'll wait and watch for sure. Now, okay, so let's get to that one billion. We've seen the jackpot grow past the one billion mark several times this year, now getting close to near record territory for a second time. Why is this happening so often? Well, we did add an additional draw day to Powerball. So you may recall in its history, it was $1, now it's $2. So you change the game matrix, and um, then we've had the additional day, we've had sales, we've had population and players enjoying the games, and that's how it all kind of accrues. In addition, you have treasury bonds and interest rates that also play a role in, in how we estimate the sales and the jackpot. Hmm. Now, I've read somewhere that the lottery lengthens the odds, and that sounds funny to hear. It almost to a layman might sound like that's manipulating the jackpot. Speak to that, because I've heard several people say this. Well, anytime you make a game change, you can look at changing multiple pieces of the game, whether it's the number of balls, um, the price the days of drawings, et cetera. But like I said, the most recent change was the addition of Monday draws. That'll be, I think, just about two years old. And um, so there's no, currently the odds are one in 292 million to win the jackpot and one in 25 for a winning experience. And those have not changed in quite some time. Oh, so they're basically the same. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, so you mentioned that, uh, what did you say? One in 200 million? Is that what you said? I always hear that, you know, you're more, more likely to be hit by lightning. Is that, is that a good way to look at it? Well, um, you know, I don't know those statistics, but I know it's one in 292 million to win the jackpot for power. Well, that's a lot. Yeah. That, that's big up there. Okay. So <laughs> taxes and the lottery, what you win is not exactly what you take home. How much taxes do, uh, are, are, do people end up paying and do you connect winners with maybe a tax expert, someone to help them? Well, we encourage anyone that wins before they contact us to, to think about, do you need any legal or financial advice before you come forward with that ticket? And we also keep information and resources on our website for player experiences. Um, but tax-wise, approximately the federal around about 25% and states around 2 to 3%, just to give you a general um, idea. And then what happens when they have claimed and it's time for taxes, they usually seek a professional who will advise them on next steps and what category and range they fall into and what they will owe. Um, we just direct them to, to seek professional advice um, since we're not able uh, to give them direct financial or legal advice. Yeah, understandable. Okay, good advice though for sure. And hopefully someone will get lucky enough. And of course, that's good advice for the $50,000 winner and the million dollar winner from our area. We're very excited about all that. Sarah Taylor, thanks so much for joining us. You're with the Hoosier Lottery. And don't forget, you can watch the Powerball drawing tonight on our sister station, the CW7, right after our nine o'clock news. So stay tuned for that. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Have fun. <laughs>